everyone. How's it going? Boom Slang, your host here, and welcome to um, my live stream. Um, I just uh, got finished uh, hanging out with Donald for a little bit over on his live stream, and I have not put out any content in uh, six or seven days, so it's about time to go ahead and um, do something, and I just I'm kind of going through. I'm trying to straighten out a lot of stuff. Since I've had my surgery, I've been kind of laid up, um, bored. I've been catching up on a lot of people's videos on YouTube and stuff like that. And, um, you know, um, but I haven't put out anything for myself. So I figured I'd do that today. It's a good day. Um, <clears throat> update on my, my surgery. I had arthroscopic surgery. Yeah arthroscopic surgery on my left knee and um, I had torn cartilage don't ask me how it happened I don't know but it happened and it needed to be repaired because it was snapping and causing a lot of pain so slowed me down a little bit but hasn't really stopped me so I've been going through a whole bunch of 3200 count boxes and stuff like that trying to organize things um uh, was it Monday, uh, Sunday or Monday, Art contacted me and said he had some more 3,200 count boxes, about 15 that he uh, had ready for me to go purchase off of him. I told him that I just hang out and wait. I, I, I can't, I have no mobility and I don't want to, you know, be out and about. Um, so I did just been just going through some of the stuff that I've had sitting around. And um, I found a whole bunch of these, like, 800-count boxes and less 600-count boxes. And as you see, there's a whole stack over here that um, you can't go by what's written on them. Um, you have to go by. So as I've been going through them, I've been putting my own little uh, seals on them, sealing them up if they're complete sets. So this happens to be a complete set of 1992 tops. Um, hand collated and so on so there's these are mostly complete sets over here um and so i'm going to see what i have in these um and i've been just filling up 5,000 count boxes so i want to thank everyone for tuning in and hanging out first off um <coughs> excuse me and uh yeah so uh let's get right into it so there's a stack here i just like i don't know 16 of them here, 16 boxes. So let's um, just get set up so we can start going through them. I especially like these older ones. Like I've I've only seen these recently since I've uh, been buying these things at flea markets, yard sales, Facebook marketplace, <clears throat> and um, um, they're pretty cool. I mean, they, I don't know how old these boxes are. The but you can, like, as a kid, you can put, you know, in your year, um, what what's inside, every, you know, all that information, and they're just cool. And you can, I don't know, you really want to stack them up like like a locker, you know, on a on a bookshelf. Well, I can't say that, can you? But like a locker on a bookshelf, you stack them up on their ends like that. You can store them like this because they've got on the ends here. You can lay them like that. You can, I don't know. Store them however you want. They're pretty cool. This side's even got, like, for your special notes, like, I don't know, whatever's in there other than, other than like, a complete set. Notes. Pretty cool. I've never seen these before. And I've been around the hobby since 19, prior to 1972. But I really started collecting in 1972. Um, before that, my I have older brothers who were collectors. And, you know, we were just. You know, I don't know, 10, 12 years old maybe, and, and just um, they collected. And so you know, I started collecting because they collected. And, um, you know, we used to have to, like, we didn't have money growing up either. Um, so, like, in the wintertime was the best time for us because we could go out and shovel snow. That's when we actually got snow uh, and shovel snow, earn money, and run down to our our, our place was uh, Bray's. Uh, 
newsstand, newspaper stand. Um, he had a shop. He sold, you know, magazines and stuff like that. Um, and he always had cards, and we'd always buy cards off of Bray's. Um, another little place was uh, Landon's um, uh, little, like, mini mart. I think that's what it was called, as a matter of fact, um, which was right next to my house, too. So, um, already looking at this, it looks like it's going to be a bunch of score in this box. So, let's go ahead and let's pull them out. I mean, they even have, like... Uh, too bad this wasn't like recessed over here so you can reach in, but you can still reach in pretty good and not have to jostle your card. So it's pretty cool. So let's just pull out a little wedge and see what we're dealing with here. Again, you can't go by what's on anything that's written on these boxes because uh, this is going to be right. But we have some 89 Stadium Club in here. And I have been finding a lot of 89s now. Not really 100% prepared for this as far as knowing what errors exist um, because I don't know what's in these boxes. So you can't really prepare for the unknown. You have to kind of go off of your vast knowledge, I guess, uh, your human database that's going to help you. So let me get my glasses because yeah, your eyes go bad when you age unfortunately and so these are 89 uh, stadium clubs and uh, we'll just kind of flip through them i mean i got so many boxes to go through here we're gonna matt wins we're just gonna thumb through them and i'm gonna look at every card we are gonna look for um like obviously the hall of famers Again, when you buy these things like this, and, and uh, they didn't cost me a whole lot. I might have paid, you know, um, two bucks per box maybe, if that. Sometimes only a buck. So I, I don't remember what I paid for these because these accumulated over a little bit of time. But it's time to get them out of these 800, 900 count boxes and get them into 5,000 count boxes so I can... Have everything uniform that way, storage-wise. And um, there's one Hall of Famer, Jack Morris. So um, you may not find Hall of Famers. You may not find anything really good. Uh, because when you go to the flea market and stuff like that, people, you know, handpick out whatever they what they think they want. There's Greg Swindell for you there. Um, John Jabs. And a Billy Ripken. So what we got a Dion and, and a um, Jack Morris so far. That card's got a nice wrinkle right down. Like it got rolled over by uh, the press. And uh, the paper got... A flaw in the paper. There's a very young Omar Fiscal. Maybe in the Hall of Fame one day. Who knows, right? Robin Ventura. Mitch the Wild Things Williams. That's one I've never seen before. That is a different shot of Shane Mack. Cool. Talk about center field cameras. Mm -hmm. You can definitely see the signs that he puts down from there. Ah, there's Alvaro Espinosa. That's the guy that haunts my channel. Thanks to um, Reindeer Studios. Scott over there at Reindeer Studios. Harold Baines, Hall of Famer. For um, kind of making him the bad omen of this channel. Bird by Lemon, Hall of Famer.
Chris Sabo. I've never ever seen that Sabo one either. Pretty cool. Todd Benziger and I want to say Eric Davis giving him high fives. That or they're helping him put on his glasses. I'm not sure. So, not bad. I mean, we did get some nice cards and they're from 89 and they're in really great shape. And here's some score. So, I'm not going to. Guys, we know we know all about score. Look, there's a smaltz. So there, chances are they have not been rifled through, which is always a good, good thing. So we got the John Schmaltzy right there. We're gonna. Put them up front. Again, I'm not going to go through every one. That's kind of really time consuming. I just wanted to get something out there for you, for my loyal um, viewers. Yep to um, digest. I guess some guys just have a need to, there's a Harold Baines, Hall of Famer, have a need to um, check out this kind of stuff, which is cool. I definitely enjoy sharing it with you guys. Still trying to work our way up to a thousand subscribers, by the way, um, for the sole purpose of being able to live stream my flea markets when I go to them this summer, it's going to be flea market time again. And I almost always find really nice stuff at my flea market. So I really like to bring that to you guys live. <clears throat> I think uh, there's a lot of people that would enjoy that. And it just makes for a nice afternoon. There's the bow, getting ready to break his back because it looks like he's getting a jam job right there. You can see that, but it looks like he's going to get jammed. He's going to have a stinger on his thumbs when he's done. If he doesn't break the bat with a swing, he's probably going to break it after he gets that dinky little jam job. There's Chris Sabo. I didn't even look and see if these are in numerical order. Sometimes people just put them in order. Let's see. Nope. Not in any kind of order. And the last little stack here. Gary Sheffield. My wife poking her head in here. Never mind that I got a huge ass sign on the door that says I'm on the air live. Now she's looking for her cat. Nope. So that was a Dale Murphy back there, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that because my wife got me off track here a little bit. How about an Edgar Martinez? Doc Gooden, he's going to be at the um, card show this Sunday over at the Valley Forge um, Casino in Valley Forge, PA. I was hoping to go. I don't think I'm going to be able to go just because I still can't get around without crutches. So might as well just plan on not going. He was going. He's charging like only 29 bucks. It's like a very reasonable price. 
for his autograph. So, but you know, there's going to be plenty more. They have three, three a year out there. So this is the first one of 2020, and maybe I'll be able to get to some of the other ones. So there's box number one down, and also we have the um, in August, I believe, we have the um, convention coming to um, Atlantic City. That's only like less than 40 miles from where I live, so pretty good deal there. Hey, Rob G., thanks for uh, tuning in. Yeah, Severino, man. It. Uh, ah, thank God they picked up Garrett Cole. So there's paper in here. And some people do that. They'll stuff them with, to keep the cards from flopping around, they um, put um, paper towels. I'll wad up some paper towels. I've seen people use that. You could buy the orange foam blocks, I guess. Um, that was a thing back in the day. But someone decided to put a piece of paper in it. So let's see, um, maybe possibly when these things were actually boxed up. Paper looks old, but not super old. So it's the Philadelphia Daily News. April 9th, 1998. You can see that. There it is. 1998. So these cards have been sitting in this box since 98. Oh, and look what they are. They're some 82 tops. 81 tops, sorry. 81 tops. Looks like. My cat, uh, my wife's going nuts about her cat right now. Jesus, criming. Him. All right, guys, um, hang out. Look at the newspaper. Uh, I'm gonna yell down the steps. I have not seen your cat since you guys were talking to her this morning. Oh, how's she gonna get out? Well, you know what? Yes, right. So, um, you know, you thought you were down here, you were down here calling her earlier. You were awake, weren't you talking about her? She didn't come down from the box, blah blah blah. Didn't she come down then? I don't know. My goodness. Kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty. There's no way she... There's no way she got out. Huh? There's no way she got out. Just relax. She's probably sleeping somewhere. She'll wake up and come. She's not moving around in here, so. Shadow! Uh, check like the closet doors or something like that. Maybe she got clothes in a closet, a bathroom. I don't know. All right. God forbid the cat is missing. The cat is in my eye, guys. I understand. It's my wife's pet. And um, she paid $1,800 for that cat. So she's um, concerned. It's not an outside cat. So this is, paper's been here, I'm going to say, since 1998, which is cool. And I don't know if this is a complete set what it is but it's definitely almost 900 cards let's see if they're in any kind of order oh there's 858 cards in this set looks like they may be in order very interesting that'd be nice have a complete set set up all ready to go i doubt it but you never know it says Again, you can't go by what's on it. It says complete set. 
I doubt it if it's complete, but we're about to find out. There's Gaylord Perry, Hall of Famer. So we're going to have to look for the big names. The high number set, the high number cards are part of the traded set. They're just not marked with a T. They're not in order because 801 is back here. Oh my God, my wife's outside banging on the cat dish like dinner bell in the old west. Like her cat didn't get out. I don't know what she's all worried about. Her cat is sleeping somewhere and doesn't want to be bothered. It's that simple. Or the cat got locked in a closet like I told her. But, um, yeah, this could be a complete set. 801, 802, 800. They're just not in order. I'm not going to hear about it at the end of this till that cat is found, unfortunately, guys. I'm probably going to get interrupted here to help with the search for the cat. The cat will show up when it wants to, but RF doesn't understand that. So there's the first eight. I'm going to say this is a complete set. There's the Gossage. But let's get to card number 100 and let's see like if it's Orion or who card number 100 cuz back then you you were if you're a top guy, you got the uh, the big numbers like 50, 100, 200 and that so on were for the the stars of the day. So there's 103. So let's see if I'm correct here. 100 is Rod Carew, and that is that is correct. So got a little wax on it, looks like, from uh, the wrapper. But there's number 100. So I'm going to say it's complete. So we'll check the big numbers and see what cards are. So that was 100. Let's look for number 200. 187, 210, 200, George Foster. He was one of the big stars of the day. So let's now we'll go for 300. Paul Molitor is 300. Little miscut. A lot miscut. Oops. They have just put them out of order, but they're not 100% in order. I'm going to see who 350 was. J.R. Richards, 399. So who's 400? Lone Ryan's got to be one of these top guys. Reggie Jackson. Five hundred. Jim Rice. It's 550. Tommy John. Johnny Bench. And so on. So, yeah, I'm going to say it is a complete set. 
Very nice. So I'll have to put this with the complete set boxes. Very nice. I'm already happy. Second box in and um, got some really nice cards. And it's a complete set to top it all off. They're not 70s cards, but they're early 80s, which is fine with me. And just we'll put Mr. Newspaper back in here. Apparently, uh, Michael Jordan was coming to town playing against the uh, Sixers. That's not answering. I don't know. Nope. Um, there you have it, boys. So, I'm going to have to shut her down. Because my wife is in wobbles about her cat. So, I guess I just timed that wrong, even though I wanted to get something done. Hey, NASCAR, how's it going? I'm going to be in the Nationals in Atlantic City. Uh, I've never been to one there, Rob, so I've never been to a Nationals. Um, this is be my first one. I really want to go. So I hope nothing, nothing comes up to stop me. You know what I mean? Because life happens, you know. All right, guys, listen, I'm going to pick this up in maybe half an hour. Um, if I don't stop and help look for this cat, uh, I probably won't get dinner tonight or something crazy like that. She'll, she'll uh, be a little upset with me. So as soon as I find this cat, the sooner I'll be back. Just stay tuned for the notifications when it goes back up to when I'm streaming again. But I appreciate it, guys. And uh, two boxes down out of what? 17? 16. Two boxes down out of 16. We are going to get through these today, but I got my interruption. So, guys, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, thanks for the thumbs up. Thanks for uh, being loyal uh, subscribers and, and followers of the channel. But um, I'm going to have to cut it short here. Family calls. So I'll catch you guys later, guys. Bye.